A clearer picture of the rapid rise in COVID cases was painted by Toronto's Medical Officer of Health today. The new seven day rolling average for new daily cases in the city is now at 206. At the beginning of September, it was just 40. And the chances are it's going to get worse before it gets better. We are entering a new phase in the pandemic. Winter is coming with all the risks that being indoors brings with it. Cold and flu season come with winter, creating further complications and risks to manage. As we enter that next phase, city officials are also starting to prep for recovery. Projected shortfalls in the billions of dollars are looming, and so recommendations are being made to try and deal with it. And while they're daunting, they hope to try and deal with other pivotal issues in the city at the same time. $1.8 billion this year and another $1.5 billion in 2021. Those are the losses the city is facing due to the pandemic and will have to try and recover from. It's all spelled out in a 37-page report by the city manager alongside another by the Toronto Office of Recovery and Rebuild. That provides 83 recommendations, some of which are already being undertaken by Toronto Public Health. Others would involve a hard look and re-evaluation of the services the city provides. Yes, there are going to be some tough decisions. I mean, we have to prioritize our work. Um, but I think our approach moving forward uh, is going to be very much uh, an outcome-driven uh, interest-based approach where um, all people are going to benefit. Come forward with a budget that has to be balanced, so we have to do that, that does not involve uh, cuts to services and in fact looks for areas in which coming out of things like the report released today uh, can provide more help to people who are vulnerable um, and uh, we will have to do that in partnership with the other governments. That was always the case, that's even more so the case now. $10,000 forgivable loan. Federal and provincial funding has already been offered to provide help in the short term. Mayor Tory says he's started discussions on the possibility of more to come. One of the key areas of focus for recovery should be racialized and equity-seeking communities hardest hit by the pandemic, according to the recommendations. It's really the coming uh, uh, weeks, months and years uh, to uh, make sure that Toronto, when the virus is behind us, that our economy uh, has been thought through in terms of how to support it and how to support the people that have been uh, challenged by uh, uh, the financial impact of, uh, of COVID. All of the recommendations as part of the report will be going to the mayor's executive committee next week. And for all the details, including the full report, you can go to our website at citynews.ca.